Not incredible. only that, the principal in this, did you notice the sign that he had on his desk? Yes! It's a, <laughs> it's a handwritten, it says Principal Levy. On the, on, the, on the cut we have on the other side, it's a notebook. It's a notebook <laughs> that they scribbled his name on and set up like this. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Again, Alex Mazinette level fucking <sighs> set dressing of just, uh, we got a notebook, we will write the principal's name on it in Sharpie <sighs> and set it on his fucking desk. Incredible. It's so so good. Hello and welcome back to the 126th episode of Good Bad and Bad Bad Show. Where I share movies telling you should too. I'm your host, Mr. Brian Shilgo. Joined as always, the other host, Mr. Kyle Hinton. Kyle, this fucking movie. Oh my god, it's awesome. Is I love amazing. it. Amazing. I love it. it is <laughs> one of the best ones we've done in a while. Uh, so real quick, this was recommended by uh, April over at No Such Thing as a Bad Movie Pod. She was like, have you guys seen this? And I was like, no. Uh, let's <laughs> do you, it. Though. Thank yes. you, April. <laughs> I think they're doing it on their... I don't know if they're doing it or not on the podcast. But um, she mentioned it, and I was like, oh, fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I, after I watched, like, 30 seconds, I was like, this so is incredible. I, I knew we were in for a treat when the very first thing I saw was a tribute, <laughs> tribute to, to Bruce, Bruce Lee. Lee. Yes, it is incredible. Uh, so this is a 2020 film called Fight of Fury. Taekwondo! Kyle, so this is written and directed by and stars Shuni B. Who's Shuni B? I don't know. He's the writer, director, and star of this fucking so movie. I did a little bit of research. Did you? Okay. So he he's I mean obviously martial arts guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's done some work with other movie stuff before, always like uncredited degree. Yeah. He got a special thanks in Samurai Cop 2. Did he? Yes. As like a stuntman or something? Yeah, or like, was, well, like a fight coordinator, yeah, maybe? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, because this movie is a fucking masterpiece. <laughs> stop, stop it. Stop. So I guess we'll just get into it because I don't really have anything else to preface it with. Just <laughs> just go watch this movie. It's on Amazon Prime and TV. It is wild. Oh my God. It's only an hour and 20 minutes. Also, the entire film is 80 yard. And you. Fucking Got shit. your ass kicked by a girl. <sighs> and you let her escape. What happened to you? The entire film. And I got to talk about this right here because I had a note about it later. But the entire film is ADR. Every single line. If you go to Shuni B's Twitter page, his banner is a, it's like a behind the scenes shot from one of the classroom scenes, like with his daughter, mm -hmm. who is his actual daughter. I'm like 99% sure based on the credits. Um, and in the picture, there is a, a guy with a boom mic. And I was like, what did you even do? Wait, wait, between me and him, stay out of it. <laughs> what, oh. what were you even doing? But I, I also know like, should I, I'm, I'm guess I'm, Massively guessing he's from Nepal, and the yeah, yeah, he, yeah, I can believe he is. Because yeah. uh, another movie he worked on was something like Gurk Gurkha Protector, which is like um, uh, people like there were like a, Gurkha, a, a soldiers a from, from Nepal, Nepal yeah. or whatever. It, well, they mentioned in this movie. He a also bunch of times. has Kukri's fucking everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But he mentions it several times in this movie. His character in this movie, Brandon, mm. was a Gurkha soldier, they say, like numerous times yes. throughout the movie. They're like, he was a Gurkha soldier. What, what? This guy, he's not just a great fighter. Do you know he's a Gurkha soldier? You don't have to say that. I already Googled him. His name is Brandon, <laughs> and I, I, maybe that's a Brandon Lee tribute. <laughs> Who I, I knows? So. Um, but so we open up in his class. He has a dojo, and I believe it's in L.A., uh, well, we know exactly where it is, and we'll get to why we know exactly where it is here in a second. But we open up, and he's teaching a self-defense class. Shuni B's in his sweet Shuni B jacket, uh, yeah. even though that's not his character. It's, it's name. like a, it's like a Letterman's jacket with, like with a, Shuni B. On yeah, it. and it's got like a tiger, like whatever his dojo, dragon, I think, or yeah, something. whatever his whatever. dojo like logo is, or I, I assume I don't know if dojo is the right word, but his 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 his. Uh, Jeet Kune Do Gym, whatever that is. I guess that's the logo for that. Um, and he's teaching a bunch of women, like self, like a, a women's self defense class. Mm. And he's like yelling at them and shit. 
you shouldn't depend upon only one technique. Maybe this particular technique works for her. Might have been for him or him. I love, he's he's like, no, you guys aren't doing a good job. And he's like, here, I'll show you. And he calls a security guard who's there. Who, who looks like a sheriff's deputy. Or something. I don't know. If, he's just standing there yeah. in the in the, and, room, in the gym with them. And watching <laughs> this, watching should he try to arm maneuver this guy <laughs> is just embarrassing. It's amazing. Like does some arm, you know, like the things from like stick fighter or whatever, like that Jeet Kune Do type stuff where he's like submission holding them. <laughs> and then he gets him by the neck and I think he breaks the security guard's neck. <laughs> Because <laughs> the security guard falls over and just lays there, and then we cut and we never see him yeah. again. I was like, did he some murder? Oh, did he all right. murder that guy? <laughs> what is going on? Um, and, and, and also, so this class is just a bunch of guys like assaulting these women yes. and them trying to fight back with, with variations of like face coverings, yeah. every, everything from full like ninja hood, full baklavas, <laughs> to just bandanas and stuff. Oh, it's great. yeah. And, and, uh, and then at the end, all the women get the upper hand, and when they're on top, they're all just like hey. flailing at them. It's so <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> And then we cut to outside the gym and we're introduced to our other main character, Karen is her mm -hmm. name. And she's on the run. She's on the run. She's running and there's a bunch of guys in cars kind of chasing her. The budget on this of this film is primarily done. Not through not through like catering, not through locations, not through it is done on black suits. <laughs> That is true. They blew the entire budget on these renting these tuxes for these guys or these black suits for these guys in this opening fight scene. Because, yeah, they chase this girl, uh, Karen, all the way up to the back door of of, of uh, Shuni B's gym. Mm. And he opens the door and she's standing there like, help me. And he walks out and I couldn't decide if these guys were or like seven nine foot feet tall. tall. <laughs> <laughs> and Shuni B is like four feet tall or if they're standing on like a ledge. I think they're standing on a ledge because mm. after they get inside, they don't seem that much taller than him. But this opening shot, they're like towering over yeah. him. But and then he just starts beating up all Everyone. of these guys. <laughs> And it, this fight scene is incredible. It's so amazing. It's <laughs> wild. It is it is sped up at parts to yes. emphasize speed. <laughs> there is a certain area in this film where it is green screened. It is the craziest fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> There's amazing crash zooms on his face. There's a moment where she's in trouble and the camera zooms and he's like. <laughs> and, then, and then like he jumps over yes. and it's so incomprehensibly cut together. It's just random long take after random long take of him beating up guys. Uh, <laughs> there's no flow. There's no like. Like he beats up a guy and then five seconds later, he's beating up that same guy again in a different place. It's and then there's another part where uh, they are literally shifting the green screen on the X axis to emphasize more speed and movement. And it's like, he's literally shifting around on the floor. What is going on? <laughs> it's incredible. And I love it. There's one, he does this little jump to like kicks two guys and he gets like three inches off the fucking <laughs> mat. He's like, Kiai. <laughs> And like, but he's like barely off the ground. And he's the whole time, I can't stress enough that he's doing like the Bruce Lee mouth noises, like the Whoa! Yeah, over, like non stop. Yes. 
it's every time he punches and, and somebody. And obviously, since this is all 80 yard, this is him in front of a microphone for hours. Hours. For hours. Just doing wah, 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 <laughs> over and over and over again. It's incredible. <laughs> Oh my God, he beats him up and it just cuts over and over again to different parts of the gym. Again, with no no sort of uh, worry about like maintaining like any sort of cohesion in the scene of like who he's already beat. Just uh, beat up more people, but uh, eventually, <laughs> He, he, he the, I think we hear police sirens or something, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Let's get well, out of here." They cut outside, and it's like it's not really even police. It's like one of those like private transportation van yeah. type things yeah. that has a light on top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're like all the, 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 the this gang of rape. I don't know who they are. They're like oh sex traffickers. <laughs> I, there we go. Yeah, that's the word. I, it's like I couldn't remember who they were. They're all like mobsters who are sex trafficking uh, this woman. But like, and they're see, like, I'm confused on that even because like, yes, yeah, that's everything that's implied. But then as we get later, all the women that are like in their organization are also MMA fighters. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. We'll get to the women in MMA <laughs> fighters later. That's a whole other C plot in this movie that is fucking wild. Um, but the, I love there's a jump cut. He's like, they're like, let's get out of here. And Shuni be standing there and they start running. And then it just cuts to the exact same shot of Shuni be standing there and nobody in the gym. Uh, and then so he takes her into his office. You know, he's like, oh, come on. Mm. She's like, <laughs> Thanks for saving oh me. My God. And this is the part where she's like, so what do you do? Yeah. By the way, I'm Karen. I'm Brandon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So what do you do? He has a poster of himself <laughs> on the back wall. In a gym that is clearly a martial arts gym. He has kung fu everything all over the walls. Jeet Ju Ju Kune Do, Kyle, not kung oh, fu. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jeet Kune Do, I think. Uh, and, and I love, too, he goes, she's, he says who he is. He's like... Uh, I'm Brandon. Brandon, where he has the, the Shooty V jacket, everything around him, Shooty V, the fucking poster of Shooty V behind him. You are not Brandon, <laughs> all right? Just be Shooty V. <laughs> Just be yourself, man. You're amazing. Be yourself. Uh, but then we cut to a flashback, and she explains how this all went down. And I love the ADR. We cut to, like, a restaurant, and it's her and her girlfriend. <laughs> this is the most Valley Girl scene I've ever Ladies heard. Ladies night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ah, yes, let's get it started. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, and then Nikki shows and, up. And, and Nikki that guy. Oh my god. His performance, both in the movie and the ADR, is both incredible. of them are, are completely different it's and completely so amazing. Ooh. Hi. Ooh, who's here? I'm Nikki. Nikki. Might have I join in? And he matches their level of valley yes. girlness in the scene. Oh, it's yes. so good. And Nikki. They have a line where they go, he they're doing he brings over cocaine and they start yeah, doing he cocaine. Puts it he puts it, just sprinkles it in their glasses. And he says, Alrighty, let's goof. Alrighty, let's goof. <laughs> let's goof? Alrighty, let's goof. All righty, let's goof. That's his line for let's I mean, do cocaine. I don't think this would be cocaine because cocaine would. Or no, it's ecstasy. Keep you going or he something. puts ecstasy. But well, they, he says it's ecstasy. Yeah, but it's so they drink it and they immediately are like, "Oh, I'm yeah. I'm drunk." Like roofies and or whatever. He, he, like some of them are like, "Oh, wow, these <laughs> my, my other girlfriends are are getting passed out from this drug thing that we drink. Okay, so I'll still drink a little bit more." <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kyle, I had to, at this point, I was like, I can't, I'm writing down every line. Like, as a note, I'm writing every, every line is delivered so incredibly. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Come on, boys. Take him up. I know Let's exactly go. the one I want.
but then so that that's what happened she got kidnapped by these this gang or whatever and now she was being sex trafficked and she escaped and now she's with shuni b oh it's incredible and then she's like uh can you teach me self-defense stuff and i'm like oh, yeah it's high kicks what about all that uh kung fu stuff how did you learn that Yeah, it kind of is high kicks, basically. We got a very similar high kick scenario here. And uh, he goes to take her home. Oh, oh, she calls her dad. She's like, can I call my dad? This guy, the guy, this guy who plays the dad is... Dad. Karen, is this you? I've been waiting so long, I thought you were dead. I didn't want to lose you, too. The ADR. Karen, is this you? <laughs> Karen, is this you? It's so amazing. It, it, this could not be any more of a guy who, he, he just looks like a deacon at a church yeah. who they asked to be in this movie. Yes, it's amazing. Oh, and again, his ADR, it's, you, you know, remember how we talked about in, uh, and, and, and obviously there have been interviews done now in, um, the dog movie. What was the fucking dog? Uh, uh, Alvin Fling. Yeah, Alvin <laughs> Fling. About how clearly that voice actor was pranking the film. <laughs> oh, yeah. King of the castle. King of the castle that's also a dog and lives in a house that is green. What? Every single voice actor in this movie is pranking Shuni B, I feel like. Every single one of them. What the fuck happened to you guys? Huh? We got a problem. She got away. What, what are you saying? This guy, out of nowhere, shows up, starts defending her. I love this jump cut here, too, is that he's in the car, and he's, like, letting her out, and it jump cuts, and he's now out, teleported outside the car. It's like, wait, is there two Shuni Bs? Because they have, like, a twin brother. No, it's just a terrible jump cut. <laughs> Uh, so she goes and she 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 hugs her dad and she's home safe now and then he goes home to be, see his daughter. Yes, Maya. Dad, you're late. Where have you been? I'm sorry, Darts. I had to take care of some business. I couldn't sleep. And he has this heart to heart with her, and I love his dialogue because it's 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 very clearly he's he's doing his best to tr he's trying to translate from whatever like Nepalese. Nepalese or whatever mm -hmm. uh, into English and it doesn't work all the time. So yeah. some of the lines just come across. So he says to her, Maya, my daughter, I can feel the emotion you are going through, but you have to deal with it. And it comes across like, like, like an alien wrote it, like a robot, like a computer wrote it. It's incredible. But I understand that it's just like, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's it's trying like, to it's, translate. It's, it's like translating from any language. Yeah, it's, you're translating from any language. It loses the, the nuance and the meaning and stuff like that. Lost in translation. Yes, exactly. And so I understand that. But it does make for some incredibly ridiculous lines and deliveries in this movie that are uh, just fantastic. Every moment I'm with you, I wish time wouldn't fly. I just want to capture the time for a little bit longer. So, and this is where I couldn't decide. I was like, oh, it sounds like their mo her mom's dead. Like his uh, wife, and we'll yeah. get to it later, but yeah, it sounds like she's dead. I was thinking about mom. It's too bad I can't see her anymore. I miss her so much. And then he goes to lay in bed and I love his bedroom. <laughs> he has one tie hanging are, on the wall. Now, let me, are, you, are you convinced that they just, they sleep in a basement somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> It looks like a. It looks like they filmed this at like a college like dorm room or something. Yeah. Like the, the way these rooms are like decorated and shit, it looks like yeah, like a college, like the basement dorm room at a college or something. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, and he has as he's laying there, he has a flashback to his loving wife, and we get this slow mo reveal of her um, as she shakes her hair out, and he regales her with beautiful prose such as. Every breath I take, I smell your sweet fragments coming out of your body. Every breath I take, I smell your sweet fragments coming out of your body. What? Once again, a little bit lost in translation <laughs> there, I feel like. Because it's that line. Is, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure if it was in uh, Nepalese, it'd yeah, be like, oh, it's, it's a very it's beautiful sweet. line, I'm sure. But it, <laughs> the sweet fragments coming out of your body is just amazing. I love it so much. <laughs> Every breath I take, I smell your sweet fragrance coming out of your body. <laughs> uh, oh, God. And then we're then Nikki 
has to go explain to his dad mm-hmm. that he lost the girl and that they got to get her back. <laughs> Again, every ADR line in this, oh, this is incredible. The, and also, this office is fantastic. <laughs> it reminded me because of... it's 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 nothing but mats everywhere. Yes. They have floor mats. Yeah. They have wall mats. They have mats covering the windows. Yeah. <laughs> It they have me. they have tiger calendars. Yeah, tiger calendars. It reminded me of the uh, when in, in Alex Mays's movies when we go like to g- call like the FBA F- or whatever, <laughs> and there's just like a blanket hanging on the wall or whatever yeah. behind and them. And they, they have like the uh, the printed out like uh, banner of FBA like, on, <laughs> over the yeah. desk or something. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Oh, I love and. <laughs> The camera angles are, are nonsense. We go from like normal over the shoulders to moments where they're like shooting right down the barrel of the actors talking to each other. And I love at the end of this, Nikki goes, chillax, I got this. <laughs> he says chillax. It's amazing. Oh, chillax, I got this. All right. It's that like is, that is definitely him messy with shooting. Yes, games. it literally feels like some of this uh, parts of this straight up feel like a Tim and Eric sketch. Like they <laughs> feel like that. They like straight up feel like a Tim and Eric sketch. He's hey, like playing with. It's free real estate. <laughs> He's playing with his. He's playing with this stupid knife, and it's making the swishy like oh knife my, sounds yeah, the whole it's, time. It's, it's also incredibly dull. You know what your problem is? You're always messed up on drugs. Not to worry. Our guys are already out there looking for her, all right? It's like, like well, it's like... It's a, pra- it's a practice one, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it's like got, It looks like a butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> He's flipping around a fucking butter knife. Oh, uh, and, and the way the movie is 80 yard, it feels so many times like you're watching Drunk History. Have you ever seen the TV show yeah. Drunk <laughs> History? Or the lines like... It seems like the actors doing them are maybe drunk while delivering the ADR lines, and they kind of match up with them. It's fucking amazing. You take things a little too seriously, right? Chillax. I got this. All right? And also, during that scene, one of the henchmen, or no, I think this is at the restaurant. We go somewhere else, and uh, no, it's in that, I think it's Nikki is in like a living room, and it very clearly looks like they're shooting in like his grandma's living room because it's like it's decorated like an old lady's living room, and he's doing cocaine off a table like in this living room. And one of the security guards is like a thirteen-year-old kid. I was yes. Like, what, is what? what? What is what? going on? It's fucking amazing. That what I paid you ass whites for? He was like that regular guy. He was like some ninja, or some mountain fighter. Uh, we, we have a little brief scene where we go to Maya's school <laughs> and oh she's the teacher's like, can you do the, anybody do this math problem? <laughs> and they're all like, no, Ma- Maya, Maya can, can do, do it. it. Anybody? Bobby, would you like to try? I can't do that. All right. I can't do that. Well, no, duh, she can do it. She's smarter than out of you. Yeah, and, and then she ends up doing whatever the math problem is, and there's this weird, like, the kids in the back do, like, Yay. a sarcastic clap. <laughs> it's so fucking you wild. You did the thing. Very good, Maya. Here you go, Miss Crosswell. Thank you very much. That was too easy. <laughs> and this movie also, the music that is used throughout never fits the moment that yes. the music is played. <laughs> My favorite, no, no, except, except, but it, it doesn't fit the moment, but it's great. Whatever, uh, who, who is, is it Karen? By the way, I'm Karen. Karen is the, yeah, what, the Whatever lady. her and Shuni have any kind of moment where they're talking like Sexy. about, yeah, they, they, they start putting on <laughs> music and it's like, what the, fuck? what is going on? Hey, you. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. You know, LA traffic. That's okay. Come on in. Thank you for having me. Okay. There's this moment here where, like, they play, there's, like, a normal phone conversation happening, and we're playing this dramatic soaring, like, the moment Batman is, like, coming to save the day in the dark night. Where's that bitch, Karen? Not here. We'll keep tracking her down. Okay, Nikki. You got it, Nikki. But it's just a normal phone call between two people. Mm. It's incredible. And then I love this scene. He takes his daughter. He picks up his daughter and takes her to go get ice cream. He takes her to Baskin, Baskin Robbins. Robbins. And he's mm. sitting there. And he, and he take, goes in with her. And he's like, they get ice cream. And, and he then just he just leaves her, leaves her, he just there. Leaves her there. I gotta go to teeth. Uh, would you mind giving me a ride? 
Of course. I'd be delighted to. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Brandon. I really appreciate it. All right, Maya. You can have a ride with Jasmine. All right, girls, you have a nice day. Thank you for coming. He bails on her immediately. I mean, this isn't a big thing, but it's clearly, uh, obviously, how long it took in between takes. It cuts to the shot of him, which is what they clearly shot first. Yeah. Because then when it cut shots to over the shoulder of him, of his over the shoulder, the ice cream's like melting. <laughs> So he, the reason he bailed on his daughter was to go train with Karen on, on the mat. And mm. it's a very awkward, like, training session where he's, like, on top of her. Like, no, fight back. And she's like, I'm trying. And it's very awkward. I, I didn't love it. And then it turns in, and then the moment she gets the upper hand, though, and starts wailing on him, he's like, stop, stop, stop. I was like, wait a second, bro. Control your mind, or it will control you. Come on, you can do it. You spent this whole time, like, <laughs> straddling her and holding her down. The moment she gets the upper hand, you're like, I give up. I give up. Tap mm -hmm. out. I tap out. Relax, relax. I'm proud of you. You did a great job. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And then I wasn't expecting their relationship to become a romantic relationship. No, because he's 50. And she's, I thought, was supposed to be a teenager. Something like that. Because she's living at home with her dad. And, like, I thought she was supposed to be very young. And uh, he's... Brian, uh, look, l finding a place to live in this modern day I is difficult. And, uh, Especially in L.A. Let's millenn be millennials. Real. Let's be real. But I just... I, I straight up thought she was supposed to be, like, 17 or something. But, no, I guess she's supposed to be in her 20s, maybe. Uh, I don't know. You all right? And I love this. He gets a call. We cut to a scene. He's in his office. He gets a call from an MMA fighter. This fucking scene is, is incredible. <laughs> this MMA fighter. I heard you were the best. I wonder if I could train with you. I'm an MMA fighter. I have an upcoming fight. I heard about you and your fighting system. I needed to train me. Yeah, you can train with me. Do you know where my gym is? It's located at this street and this street in this town. It's like, they lit, it's a commercial. It's a crummy fucking commercial. Yeah. Yes. Where exactly are you located? Yeah, we are located in Pasadena on Fairworks. Right in the corner of Glen Arm and Pasadena. A crummy commercial? Son of a bitch. <laughs> It's cool. I'll see you on Saturday. Yeah. Sounds awesome. I just got a training session with, with the, the greatest <laughs> guy ever. Great. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm going to keep working out on my bike. <laughs> Stupidest fuck! And that guy never shows up again. That guy no. literally never shows up no. again. He's in that Which, one scene. We, no, no, no. He didn't show up later, but, but he was mentioned up, later. Yeah, they do mention because that other guy is gonna fight you mean him. Ice Man. I, yeah, Ice Man. <laughs> Aaron, fucking Chuck Liddell, Ice Man, whose name is Primal, I believe, in this movie or something like brutal. that. It's brutal. Brutal, not Primal. Sorry, Brutal. An primal equal, would be a better an name. Equally stupid fucking name. <laughs> brutal. Oh God. Brutal. What's up? And then she she asks him to go to dinner with her dad. Are you free tonight? My father and I are going out to dinner and we want you to come. Again, how old is she supposed to be? And he, I swear to God, he says no. Mm, you know what? I got something going on tonight. Maybe next time. But then the next moment, he's at her house to have yes. dinner with her dad. Yes. Hey, you. Hey. I'm sorry I'm late. You know, LA traffic. And then this is one of the things you talked about. They're sitting there with his dad, her dad, and they start playing the sexy music. Yes. And As a human being, the prime purpose of our life is to serve and to show compassion. So it's awkward. so <laughs> awkward. What is going on? There's a scene later where the music gets very like, what the fuck is going on? We'll get to it. Yeah. I love, too, they're having dinner. You know, what did every normal person have with dinner, Kyle? 
a giant bowl of grapes yes. <laughs> and a giant bowl of oranges. Yes, and they have like wine, everything ready. And he's like, "Thank you for uh, letting me come in here and, and meeting you and, and and your daughter, who I'm definitely not trying to bang or anything." Yeah, but uh, I got I got to go ahead and leave after like two minutes. <laughs> they don't here. even eat anything. So <laughs> bye. I'm sorry to interrupt. You know, I gotta get going. Someone is waiting for me, and it's very important. They cheers. They cheers, and the dad screams cheers. He's like, cheers! And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Cheers. 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 Oh, God. Uh, they also put reverb on every line of ADR, and I don't know if that was... I think it's because of the, the, the room they were recording in. Maybe, but to me, it sounds like they added it on. When we're helping each other without any expectation in return. The world will be a much better place to live with peace, love, and harmony. Well said, Brandon. I don't know. It's it's weird, but every line does have rebarb on it. And then random scene where the daughter found a giant dog. A, a Great Dane. A Great Dane was just at their door, and she's like, can I keep it? And he's like, uh, no, no, this it's is not somebody else's dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I guess you can have it for tonight. And she's like, okay. Isn't he cool, Dad? Yes, he is. I like him. And he's so friendly. Woo. And it comes back one time later where she says she had a dream that the dog came back and wanted to be with her. And then it's never touched yeah. on again. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is going on? You can keep him for tonight. Okay, good night. Have a good one. Good night, Dad. Right here. Good boy. Good job. Right here. Give me a kiss. Uh, and then we, we, this is where we get back to the, the, the sex trafficking ring where they, the girls are going out on the town to, yeah, to meet with people. This is so fucking creepy and awkward. Dude, can you only imagine Shuni B with a camera out in LA somewhere? He obviously doesn't have a fucking license to be shooting. No, 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 no. But he's just shooting like 200 feet away, way away where he's just filming people on the street. I was like, is he filming actual prostitutes on the street right now, <laughs> yeah. Kyle? Because it seems like it. Like you said, he's like with like a telephoto lens across the street. And I was like, that's not cool, I'm not, man. I'm, now, for the record, I'm not saying it's Blowing difficult. up their spot. <laughs> I'm not saying it's difficult for people to find prostitutes in L.A., but... <laughs> No, I just, it's, it, I, cause, well, but then he cuts over and we get actual shots yes. with them, like doing conversation. Yes. And, and then the, the, these two girls are like being, I guess, being uh, taken to a private session or something yeah, like that. Yeah, who Whatever. Fucking knows. But like somebody is the coming up, doesn't care, somebody's so. coming up and is like, hey, girls, why don't you come with me? And a guy just pulls a gun on him. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, no get your hands off me. Fuck uh, bitch, get in the car. Uh, hey, let her go. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> now you're dead, man. You don't know who you're messing with. Hey, you, motherfucker. Do you want to die? Who the fuck are you? Who do you think we are? Yeah. One of the guys just pulls a gun on him? Yeah. And that was what was confusing. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. And as he's as, as the dude backs off and he puts the gun away, there's a guy walking behind, looking directly at the camera. <laughs> I was gonna say I love. I didn't realize before at this moment that uh, they had like a pre. They were waiting for like a car to come pick them up mm -hmm. because they seem like they're just on the corner waiting, you know, yeah, to, like to, to find somebody to jobs. go with. And a guy walks up, and she's like, "Get the fuck out of here!" I'm like, "Hey, girl, you want to take a ride with me?" Get the fuck out of here. Hey. Isn't that the whole point of why you're standing? <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, isn't it like that's the whole point? But no, yeah, they were waiting for a Brian, private car. Brian, haven't you ever played GTA? Uh, yeah, when I was oh, a okay. little kid. Um, Hi, girls. Hi. Welcome to the party. Uh, and so we get a bunch of random sex trafficking scenes. It doesn't really matter. Um, also, we, when we get that recurring scene where the daughter talks about the dog again, I swear to God, the sound of the dog panting is being done by a human being going, <laughs> How much you want to bet that Shuni B? <laughs> Shuni B <laughs> panting into a microphone to do the dog sound effect. <laughs> Cut, flash forward to, it doesn't really matter, some stuff happens. Uh, Maya is gets to school one day and all the boys want to beat her up. Yes. <laughs> she's such this a guy legit fan. has a gang. Here she comes. Let's go, boys. We're gonna get her. He has a gang of like a fucking 10 year old yeah. who's like four feet tall. <laughs> yeah. And get him, guys. Get him. Beat up this girl. And she kicks all their asses. She breaks one of their arms. It's amazing. I was like, I'm here for this scene. This is fucking incredible. Charlie, giant mouse, get it. One of the boys' mothers called from the urgent care. 
He has a fractured wrist. It's so amazing. She beats the shit out of all these nerds. <laughs> and just beats him up and then she goes, gets taken into the principal's office. And and I love, she's not in trouble for beating him up. They're like, you could have killed them. Whoa. <laughs> yes. That's great. So like your, your, my, your my... fists are licensed weapons. Those are lethal weapons. <laughs> yeah. I understand you did this for your self-defense. But remember, you yourself are the lethal weapons. Uh, not only that, the principal in this, did you notice the sign that he had on his desk? Yes! It's a, <laughs> it's a handwritten, it says Principal Levy. And then on, the, on, the, on the cut we have on the other side, it's a notebook. It's a notebook <laughs> that they scribbled his name on and set up like this. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Alex Mazinette level fucking oh. set dressing of just, uh, we got a notebook, oh, we'll write the principal's name on it in Sharpie oh. and set it on his fucking desk. It's incredible. It's so good. Okay, Dots. Take care. Bye, Dots. But, uh, thank you, Maya. Uh, and then he leaves and gets out of there. Uh, and then we give a random in cut in scene that I think was just like a literally like this little kid's family paid for him to be in 30 seconds of this movie. Yeah, what was this all about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tight, one, go. He's driving and he's going to meet Karen at the at the park, I think. No, no, Griffith is the Griffith yeah, Observatory. Yeah, Observatory. He's going to meet Karen there and he's as as he's driving there, we get this cut in of this little kid doing like martial arts yeah, and, and he's singing. Doing like, a, yeah. like a song and dance number. Cut. Yeah. Take it slow. And I don't understand what any of this is. And then he gets there and he explains that he was late because this kid was doing nunchucks on Hollywood Boulevard. They were filming him and, th and that's why he was late for this. So, what took you so long? They were filming in Hollywood Boulevard. Mm. A boy was doing nunchuck, nunchaku. Oh. And he's like, he reminded me of me as a kid, reminded me of my childhood. And I was like, what the fuck is, why was that in the movie? It means I don't know. nothing. It never comes back. It's just, I literally think it is just like, this This kid like wants to be a star and like his parents were like, can you put him in your movie? And he's like, I don't really have a place for it. Uh, he can be a reason that I was late to my date, I guess. Like, and it won't really make sense with the story at all. Hey, uh, don't you know, someday you're gonna hear us on the radio. Oh, it's fucking incredible. And then he sits on the bench, and this is where he explains his sad backstory to, mm -hmm. to Karen. Yeah. And he stares right down the barrel of the camera, <laughs> yeah. sobbing, explaining that his wife was kidnapped and murdered by somebody, I, I don't know, back in their home country, I think. Everything turned into a nightmare. Uh, while she was carrying their unborn son, she explains that they were she was pregnant, she was nine months pregnant, and these guys kidnapped her and murdered her. She was raped and murdered by human traffickers in my home country, Nepal. Oh, no. She was nine months pregnant with my unborn son. And, uh, and that's why, and he couldn't protect her, and so that's why he's he's is, is this the part where self defense he, he classes. Meet, meets up with his uh, his wife and daughter, and then they're like, "I'm pregnant" and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, because, that's just that yeah, whole that, flashback I, moment. Yeah, I love it. Like, first off, a if she was nine months pregnant at this point, you would have fucking noticed. Well, and yeah. B, you're, even if they're at the point where it's like it's a boy, it's like that. Even that should be fucking it should noticeable. Be noticeable, <laughs> yeah. And I also love that he. She he shows up and 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 Maybe the mom is proof that he just doesn't pay attention to anything. In his life. Well, the, he shows up and she's mad at him. Yeah, and we don't know why. Hormones. <laughs> we don't know why. Mom's mad at you. Sorry, I'm late. I was just stuck in the office. And then he sits down and and she's like, "I have news. I'm pregnant." And then they're just fine. Is it true? Yes, it's a boy. <laughs> I'm the happiest man in the world. And everybody's yeah. happy, and I'm like, what the fuck is supposed to be going? What is happening in this fucking movie? Oh, it's so wild. Why well, you look nice when you smile? <laughs> Am I irresistible now? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> and I love then they're being spied on by these random guys in the suits from earlier. 
<laughs> but they don't do anything. They just see him at the park and they're like, there he is. Let's get out of here. Let's go. And they leave to do what? I, I have no clue. <laughs> to do it, what? it is great. Like it is great. Like they're just they just have the the, the Griffith Observatory <laughs> telescope. And yeah. Like, yeah. There he is. What are we gonna do? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean? I thought. Okay. Great. Uh. Got him. Let's go. Oh, and then this is where we're introduced to the, the female, the women from MMA fighting troop of what is prostitutes this? or whatever the fuck I it know, is. What, it is all these girls. What, in it, the remi ring. It, what it reminds me of is uh, Austin Powers, where they have like yeah. the fembots or yeah. something like that. All these women in an MMA ring, like training together, and Brutal walks in, and it's also the head of this gym or whatever, and they're chit chatting and shit. Girls, drop those gloves. <laughs> You two get the fuck out of my way. And then they just leave. He's like, it's time to get out of here. And all these girls take their gloves off and just walk out with this guy. And I don't understand what any of this was supposed to be. I, I truly don't understand what any of that. They just walk out with uh, Iceman, with fucking Chuck Liddell, and they leave. And, and he's, I guess he's going to go have sex with all of them. I don't know, Kyle. I don't understand what it's supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> It's your fault to bring this all together. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. All right? This ain't just a business. It's a dirty business. I also love this little scene where the Maya is at school. None of these mean anything. I, I, I know it sounds like I'm just jumping from nothing to nothing. You know, none that's of the how story, it was edited together. Yeah, none of it really matters or means anything. The next scene is Maya at school waiting to get picked up by her dad with her friends. Yes. The... Why is this scene in the movie? Because, because her friends wanted to be in the fucking movie yeah, is why. Yes. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my wow. God. Oh, okay. Tired. So what time do you think your dad will be here? I think he's here right now. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. You too. But uh, they get picked up. She is not uh, in her infinite wisdom and uh, the infinite wisdom of her father apparently never told her. Stranger danger. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if, if some stranger says... Uh, your daddy told me to pick you up. I'm a no. friend of his. Yeah, the answer you is no. You want to come over to this van where a guy who's laying down in the back seat goes, <laughs> Hey, little girl, <laughs> yeah. why don't you come on in? Here we are. Come on, Maya. Daddy's waiting for you. Yeah. I love when that scene opens, one of my favorite moments, because it's it's so quintessentially bad movie because they just have lines to have lines, is when the, the her first friend is getting picked up, Maya says to her, so what time do you think your dad will be here? So what time do you think your dad will be here? Right and, there! Yeah, she so goes, right now, bye, and leaves. It's such a weird, uh, I love it so much. So what time do you think your dad will be here? I think he's here right now. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. You too. But yeah, then she fights all these guys. Yes. They're, they're, okay, so like one of these one of these guys who's trying to capture her is like much, significantly older than the other. Yeah, like he's clearly like in his fifties, dyed black hair, probably sixty almost. Yeah, there's a point where they're running across the uh, like an amphitheater type thing. Yeah, they're like this. First off, this dude's way too fucking old to be doing this stuff. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I'm, yeah, they're just running across, and they just get into like these fights where they're fighting this. This like twelve year old. 12 -year -old she's kicking, just their, kicking ass. their asses. Oh. Oh. Yeah, uh, but ultimately they do capture her and grab her and get her into the van, uh, and then we, she, you know, they they run off with her. So now she's kidnapped, um, and then we cut back to the, the the female martial artists again, just wrestling with each other for like three minutes. <laughs> And I was like, oh, okay, we know what Shuni B's into now. We, we, Shuni B's a big Evolved Fights fan, apparently. So, um, <laughs> uh, deep cut out there for some of you. Um, <laughs> Watch the lock. It's like a full minute of that. And then we cut into the room and they're all sitting there. I have to talk about this line. I have to talk about this exchange. The, the brutal guy is like, guys, he's like women. I have a new idea that'll be the next big thing. Well, MMA is the fastest growing sport in business. I have an idea that'll take this business to next level. What's that? Kyle, this was a 2020 movie. He's like, I have a brilliant idea that will be the next big thing. 
MMA Women's Fighting Championship. I'm thinking MMA Female Fighting Championships. You mean the thing that's been happening for like almost for a, two decades? Yeah, for <laughs> literally like tw forever? Like it's yeah. been going on for fucking ever? I mean, I'm pretty sure women's women's MMA has been a thing for like at, at least almost the turn as of the long century. as it, what? At least at least the turn of the century as yeah. far as like com competitive uh, MMA. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I was like, wait, man, that exists. Did nobody tell this guy that that exists already? Sounds awesome. People throw money like crazy to see two girls cuddling up in a cage. <laughs> exactly, that's right. <laughs> At least 20, like you said, 15, 20 years of women's yeah, MMA yeah. fighting. <laughs> And this guy's got like, guys, I have a brilliant brand new idea that's going to take the world by storm. Sliced bread. God. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, trust me, guys. It's going to be fucking it, brilliant. It, this is the will. <laughs> now, it is round. It will allow us to move things. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? It's so amazing. Especially when the girls go wild in a cage. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a great that's money. That's right. I'm so excited. Like. This is my dream okay, okay. to fight in a cage. This is where he, he meets up with Karen again. And the scene, again, because this scene is, is this scene is a microcosm of the editing and the, and the dialogue that, that, can, that makes up this movie. He pulls up in parks. Karen pulls up in parks next to him. It yes. cuts, it cuts to the same shot. And she gets out of the car and starts walking around to his car. It cuts in the middle of her walking around to the same shot of her walking and arriving at his car to talk to him. Hey, Brandon. Good to see you. We have three shots that could have been done in, in one, one single shot for no reason. She gets over there and she's like, How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. You know what? You look good. <laughs> Thank you. I came to see you. To talk. Hey, what's up? What do you got going on? He's like, I gotta pick up my daughter. And she says, can I come? But I have to pick up my daughter right now. I see. May I come with you? And he's like, sure. And she goes, can I drive? Sure, you wanna come? Why not? Sure. What is happening? What a weird but exchange. They, they leave, but like Shunny doesn't close his door. Yes, like, he leaves his car door. He leaves his car door. Thank you. Every single possible detail of this scene <laughs> is just <laughs> incomprehensible and mind blowing, and I love it so much. Oh, it's incredible. But yeah, they they can't find they can't find his daughter because she's been kidnapped. She's been kidnapped. Is He's this like, the part oh. where uh, he tries calling her phone? Yeah. Maya, what are you? Well, hello, Brandon. Yeah, <laughs> it's just Ice Man on the other end. Yeah, he's like, "Hey, this isn't your daughter." <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got her already. And I love—he gets off the phone, he hangs up, and he's talking to Karen. He goes, and she's like, "What is it? My daughter is kidnapped." <laughs> what is it? My daughter's kidnapped. <laughs> now, how much concern does he have for the rest of this movie? Ben? None. Fucking none, Kyle. Oh my God, it's incredible. It's <laughs> incredible. Good afternoon, Mr. Van Deck. Oh, hi, Brandon. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. We got to talk about Karen's dad. Oh, we, 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 well, we can't we can't skip Where, over that scene, Kyle. This, why does he meet up with him for this? I I think it just randomly comes across. I don't remember why they yeah. meet up with each other. But they they, they really want to kill Shuni B just because yeah. they, they hate him and he's better than all. Of them and he's and just yeah. They're like we got it. He's so much better. He's a, he's a he's a super soldier. And I love there's the guys like I googled him. I know how crazy he yes, is. Yes, I googled him. <laughs> this guy, he's not just a great fighter. Do you know he's a Gorka soldier? You don't have to say that. I already googled him. I googled him. And then uh, so Shuni B's there, and Karen's dad is there, like randomly. Yeah, and then it's like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Watch out! And he gets fucking knifed in the kukri. Yeah. I thought you would have been here by now. Watch out, Brandon. Oh. Oh. Joseph, Joseph, you alright? Okay. Someone, please call 911, please. Gets fucking impaled and starts bleeding out, and Shuni B just leaves him there. He's like, somebody call an ambulance. I gotta go chase this guy. The the this the, the way they cut it with Shuni B chasing this guy is absolutely incredible.
Shuni B absolutely has blown out fucking knees and cannot run. No. Because so many of the long shots of him running, he's like hobbling. It's it great. is it's very sad. I was like, oh no, no. Shuni B, don't show yourself running from a long distance if you can't run, man. Just do your martial arts. Yes. Uh but then he gets in a knife fight with this fucking gas. Yes. clank their goddamn click, knives click, together click, 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 like click, click. a thousand times mm. and it goes on for fucking ever. Uh, and while also constantly making Bruce Lee mouth noises the yeah. whole time. The whole fucking time. Uh, uh, and he ends up, that guy runs off. He doesn't defeat him. He runs away and, and, and Shuni B chases after him. Um, but he's not able to catch him. He's able to get away, or that guy gets away. And then he goes back and meets up with Karen. Who's now a little distraught because her dad was fucking killed. It's all my fault. No, no. Why did they have to kill him? You say a little distraught. She's like I can't the most my moderately. Dad's dead. Yes, it's, it's <laughs> it literally. She gets back, and I'm like, man, she is really handling Man, well. The fact that, that must be really tough for her going through this. Barely an inconvenience. Yes, it straight up seems like she has no. She does not care at all that her father was stabbed in the chest and murdered like an hour ago. Kyle. No, no. Why did they have to kill him? Mm mm. You cannot blame yourself. Like a fucking hour ago. At that point, you're not even like you're not even at the uh, at an area where like that's not even fast enough for you to go to the, the morgue and, yeah. and be like, yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, he's dead. It literally that earlier that afternoon because that fucking Shuni is still bleeding from the knife wound he got during the fight with that guy, mm -hmm. and she brings him inside to bandage him up. And did you notice? I think Shuni B might have Neil Breen rules. She's not wearing a bra in this oh, scene. And I was like, oh, no, Shuni B. No. <laughs> no, not the Neil Green um, rules. And this is where music starts getting a yes. little. A yes. little. The, the, the music they have in this scene is different than the music in the other ones. And the music is. It's very, <laughs> very sexy. Hey, you. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Grab a chair. Join us. And uh, she's bandaging him up. And I love he says to her, he says this to her, Kyle, keep in mind, her father was <laughs> stabbed to death in the chest like 40 minutes ago. He says to her, But you have to quit playing the victim. <laughs> Karen, stop crying. And it's like, her dad was murdered. <laughs> Just a dad. Yeah. What the <laughs> hell, man? I was like, you're still murdered crying about your dead wife 30 goddamn years later or whatever. You get over it. You stop playing the victim, Shuni B. All I want to say is be strong and stay positive. Nobody can harm you. Got that? I'm with you in this fight. But then he tells her, he's like, I got to go get my daughter back. And this is the moment you're talking about where yeah. he's like, I, it's, we're going all out. We, we just find. He drops an hasta la vista, baby. Yes. Oh, oh. fucking Christ. Now I'm going to bring fight to them. Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, it's incredible. I feel sorry for this poor, this poor young woman. She did not deserve No, this. no, it's fucking amazing. He drops an Asla Vista, and then he goes, and he shows up at this house where all the guys are training in a backyard full of garbage. I don't know. Yes, <laughs> what is And I love, he does drone reconnaissance. <laughs> he pulls out a $20, like, fucking yeah. toy store drone, flies it, like, now, five Brian, feet over their heads. Brian. What are the odds that he has a FFA drone license? He actually wouldn't need one. Well, no, if he's not. Is it FFA or FAA? FAA. FAA. Or F. Brian has one. I literally <laughs> just got recertified like yesterday, and I already can't remember <laughs> the fucking, what nice. the right acronym is. Um, but he, uh, he, he, for this, he may, well, because you're using it in a movie, it's complicated. The rules, I don't know what right. the rules would be. But anyways, I love I don't know if you've ever flown one of those che any drone, but those yeah. cheap little ones, they're like, Wee! Wee! Yeah, they're super <laughs> and he's loud. flying it like four feet over their heads and nobody even looks yeah. up at it. 
fucking amazing. Um, and then he also, he gets, so he's doing all the sweet reconnaissance. So you think what's, what he's going to do is like one at a time. He knows where they all are now, yeah. right? One at a time, sneak up, take him up. Nope. Kicks the gate Kicks down. Kicks him himself completely known. <laughs> what was the point of the reconnaissance? Okay, great. Uh, he whips out nunchucks. He does whip out nunchucks and just starts fucking beating up. And again, we get another amazing fight yep. scene. He just beats there, up all these guys. And they, and they, <laughs> so we talked about it earlier, but I had like that one old white guy henchman. It's just like stumbling around with a machete. <laughs> like, yes. And this is one of the things I think Shuni B probably is pretty good at martial arts, but in, in 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 a movie like this, your stunt people that you're fighting also need to be yes. very very good. There's and like this people... fifty year old other dude who's got like the two sticks. Yeah, and it's just like, come on. It's so bad, uh, and it's it's the also kid with clumsy. the baseball bat and the guy with the staff are about the and the other guy with the sword about the, the only the sword, one. Yeah, yeah, and they, even they're not good. They're just not terrible. They're not. They're not in their fucking. They're not 50s. in their seventies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's. I love one of the moments he's fighting a guy who has a knife and he's doing the dumb knife yeah, hand. It's like, the, you don't do that. You know why you don't do that? Because that, that's exactly why you don't do that. He nunchucks it right out of his fucking hand. It's incredible. Uh, and then he beats up all these guys and then all of a sudden, Nikki is here. Shows up doing the splits. <laughs> Okay, John Claude Van Damme. And and uh, and Shuni B's like, oh, it's serious. Glasses off. The Chuck. size difference between these two is significant to say yes, the least. Yes, this Nikki is a big man, mm -hmm. and Shuni B is not. Uh, and they're just running around fighting in this backyard. It's incredible. And during this, Maya escapes somehow. Yes, and she's now just running, but she gets like kind of captured again, and they they inject her. Yeah, they drug her. Yeah, she she gets caught because she I don't know how she escaped. We didn't see her. She's just randomly outside running, and yeah. she like goes under a fence, and I guess her legs get hurt, and then she trips and falls and gets caught and drugged or whatever. What? Uh, and then he ends up beating up Nikki. Yeah, he gets him into an armbar and breaks his arm. Breaks his arm, beats up Nikki. <laughs> This is what you talked about, how, how worried he is about his daughter. So his daughter was recaptured. He beats up Nikki. And then we cut to the girls going back to brunch. Yes. Yes. And he meets up with them. And they're like, thank you, Brandon. I mean, yeah. be, I mean, Brandon. I mean, Brandon. And they're like, oh, we're all here together again. You're Thanks really, you. you're really our savior. So ladies, how's the recovery going on? Much better now. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you. Mm -hmm. You're truly our savior. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, and he's like, he's like, he's loving it. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. He's like there hanging out. I'm like, bro, your daughter is still kidnapped. What are you doing? Oh, it's incredible. Truly, I mean, all of us owe our lives to you. And then he has a he he has a line to him. He goes, you know, they have this saying where I come from. There's an old saying where I come from. If you give a man fish, he will eat for a day. But if you teach him how to fish, he will never go hungry. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat forever or whatever. I, I mean, like, that, that, that incredibly common all saying. over the world. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know if that's just where he, maybe it origin. I don't know, maybe it is originating in Nepal. I have no idea. But I thought that was like, that's a saying like, like everybody weird, knows. Weird saying to come out of a mountainous region. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting. Uh, and then he's like, well, you know, because what, what he was saying, implying there, though, is that they all need to come to a self-defense class. Mm. And then we go to the self-defense class, and it's the exact same footage from which, the one in which, the beginning. Which he's still <laughs> conducting while his daughter. Is kidnapped. <laughs> it's so wild. Second law: the sum of the force you give with the mass and acceleration. When you are and then uh, so he basically, uh, without any explanation, Shuni shows up kidnapped, blindfolded at the hideout 
at Brutal's hideout or no, whatever? No, no, at, at the other dude. Oh, the the oh, the, the dad. Yeah. The, the Nikki's dad or the whatever. The guy. The crime boss guy, yeah. And he and he blindfolds... They, he gets, I, I don't know how he got captured. We don't see any of that. He just shows up there, and then he fights this guy, and blindfolded. I love... Blindfolded. <laughs> to get to Brutal, you gotta get through me. Which I don't see happening. Shut up! Wait, wait. Between me and him, stay out of it. For no reason, because it, his hands aren't tied. Yeah. I whole time I was like, take the blindfold off. Just take, yeah. just take the blindfold off. Yes. Do your hands are free? Just take the blindfold off. That only works if your hands are like behind your back or something, it, and you're like kicking people. Ah! There's a point where they're like, all right, he's got to take off the jacket and really show him that he's down for it. And yeah. then he takes off, he takes off uh, Shuni B's like blindfold, and then Shuni B's like, it's so bright. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, and they fight forever by this swimming pool in the backyard, mm. and they literally, they fight one place, and then it cuts, and they're somewhere else, and then it cuts in their back where they were fighting before. It's incomprehensible editing. But it, it all uh, gets to the point where they are now in the driveway. Yes. With, he, he's got a, a katana, and shouldn't he's got double nunchucks he's yeah. all over the place. And they do the, they do the Star Wars, they just spin their... There's like 45 straight seconds of him spinning his katana and Shuni spinning his nunchucks, just staring at each other like. Doing yeah, nothing. But it ends with Shuni basically using the nunchucks to leverage his sword into his neck. Yeah, which look, yeah, it, it looks kind of cool. Good. I mean, it, it's while, all shot while terribly, he's but dying on the ground, there's a woman pushing yeah. her kid in a yes, little tight yes, stroller. Yes, walks through the background and just staring at him like, <laughs> "What's going on here?" I'm gonna keep walking. Tell me who's my dog. I, I was wanting so much when they cut back. For, for her to just be like kind of hanging in the hanging in the background being like is that guy dead yeah <laughs> yeah you bastard listen up i fear no fear i live by the sword die by the sword if you mess with my family i'll mess with your life for this woman is telling uh them that that uh shuni b was captured she has mirrored sunglasses on oh. and you can see the camera and the tripod and the camera operator <laughs> and the reflection yeah. crystal clear <sighs> so there's as as after he murders this guy uh the, the uh he uh the, the, well, i guess nikki's okay <laughs> yeah he had a broken arm is like dad yeah, no yeah no um and then brutal the the woman who i guess is this guy's wife or something i don't know she's mm -hmm. part of the gang she calls brutal oh my god brutal Brutal, he's dead, Greco's dead. And is on the phone with him and he's, she's like, Brandon's here and he just murdered whatever this guy's name is. <laughs> uh, whatever his name well, he is. He takes the phone and he's like, I'm coming for you next. I'm coming for you. Let me make this real simple and clear for you. You want a piece of me? You come and get me. Well, look what we did to your daughter. Hang on, hang on, the file's sending it. Yeah. You want to see Maya? You want to see your little girl? Just look. Take a look at your phone. You want to see what I've done, you little girl? Just look at your phone. The compression rate, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little Hold bit. On. If also, we had to edit this. It's literally <laughs> the edited scene from earlier in the movie where they inject her with the drug. We get every single shot from the movie. I was like, you guys filmed that whole thing with like multiple camera angles? Very strange, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no. And then Kyle, I assumed because... <laughs> That there would be a resolution to no, this story. No, and there fucking isn't. We're teased with a sequel. I'm gonna track you, find you, and destroy you and your kingdom. Yeah. Fuck you. Yes, 
Shuni B hopefully it will better return. has more better have more green screen fighting because that was the best part. Yes, uh, he fucking runs, jumps, freeze Free frames, screen. credits roll. He's still got to save his daughter in Fight of Fury Two, even furier, even furrier. <laughs> <laughs> I it's oh this movie is great bad this thing it's is incredible, incredible. I love it's it. an hour and like 15 or 20 minutes in, just insanity non-stop there's not a moment that isn't hilarious it truly is on the top tier with like a Neil Breen film or any of those other you know an Alex Mays film every moment is dripping with just incomprehensible decisions <laughs> and terrible ADR and amazing editing and it's so bad and I love it so very much. Yes. I can't wait to see a sequel. Ugh, and you so good. can watch it on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime and Tubi. It's on both. Um, I think it wasn't it released through uh, AMD TV. I have no idea. But anyways, it, it does have ads on Amazon Prime. Which oh, it's IMDb weird. TV. Or IMDb, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It IMDb is, TV, yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. going to have It has ads, ads, but whatever. And it's also on Tubi, same thing with ads. Mm. Um, but I highly <laughs> recommend checking out. We do, there's no... I said it several times in my note. I was like, Kyle, I want to put every moment in, and I obviously won't be able to, so you have to go watch it. <laughs> just have to go yes, watch it. It's, it's incredible. incredible. As always, you can do us a giant favor by heading over to patreon.com slash GB or BB, yes, mm. uh, and supporting us for, uh, you know, two, five, whatever bucks a month. Uh, that's super great. It helps us out on the channel here. Uh, you can also head over. I forgot to change my shirt. Fucking A. So did you. Oh, well. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. You can also head over to T Magnet. Oh my Team god. Public, Look. And search for Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad. Uh, and you could buy other shirts there. Uh, products, all kinds of products um, that support the show. Uh, uh, you can also go to twitch.tv slash GBRBB underscore Brian, GBRBB underscore Kyle. We stream there occasionally. Different yes. things. It's a lot of fun. Come hang out. We'll do that stuff. Also, I have a podcast called This Film's Lit. We're talking about movies that are based on books. When this episode is out, I don't actually know because we're too far ahead. So if something, yes. out, something will be out, come check out the podcast. Uh, that's it that's all we got um, Kyle until next time yeah fucking go watch yes fight of watch fury it. oh. it's it, it, it this is it's quintessential bad movie viewing and I absolutely thank you April for <laughs> thank recommending you so much. this so this is fucking insane. amazing <laughs> This so is the amazing. kind of film that I would want at like an actual theater. Oh, I would. It would be die incredible. to see this movie at like a midnight screening. It would be oh, so good, so good. Freeze frame. Woo! <laughs>